This is a roguelike deck builder where you play blackjack. Choose your starting suit. You can do hearts, you can do clubs, you can do spades, you can do diamonds, you can do nothings, and you can do question mark. <laughs> Let's start with hearts. You approach the old tavern, it reeks of ale and addiction. You're going to have to master the strange version of blackjack they play here. Welcome back, how about a drink? Or a round of cards? On play, instant blackjack. Every tenth time this card is played, okay. <laughs> I was like, wait a minute, what? Okay, so yeah, yeah. So if you, you have to play this card ten times, and on that tenth time, you get instant blackjack. Alright. I'm gonna stand. Okay, that's fine. Five. Eleven. Fifteen. I'm gonna stand. 17. <laughs> it's fine. 12. 12. 20! Stand. 21. Oh. Okay. It's a, it's a rough it's a rough start here. He only has 5 HP. We have 94. We can do it. We're easily supposed to win this first one. <laughs> Luck is not on our side right now. 19, 19. Draw. I'm gonna land on one of these bad boys. I know it. There we go. Bop. You beat me. Pick a card as your reward. They're on the house after every game of cards. So easy. <laughs> uh, get out of jail free card. Handy. On play, instant draw. On discard, burn. On play, instant draw. Okay. So if you if you feel like uh, the opponent's gonna beat you with like a twenty one and you have a twenty or something, you can I guess play the get out of jail free card and just make it a draw instead of a instead of a loss. Okay. Some ballsy art. The uh definite the schmonopoly the sh the schn schnoplopoly get out of jail free card. Uh, blood donor would have been fun. On play, lock. Card cannot be discarded. Whenever you play a card worth at least one heart, remove one from its value for the rest of the encounter and heal one HP. King of the Hill. On play, instant blackjack if this is the only face card currently in your entire deck. Pay 21 chips to reveal this. They probably don't have the phrase get out of jail free. That that might not be trademarked. And this is just an open cage. No big deal. It's just an open bird cage. It's not like it's a mustachioed top-hatted gentleman jumping out of a jail cell or something, you know? <laughs> I 
Monopoly was made in the Depression era. The Depression era game. That's where it started. That's where the roots came from. So I guess you can... Don't know. Don't know. I, I mean, it's... With the, with the way uh, Monopoly keeps, like, updating stuff, I wonder if it, like, constantly updates the trademark for it. Oh, we'll do it, though. Let's grab it. Alright, sorry, it took, that so, <laughs> it took so long to just sma snatch that. Uh, if you're going to meet the manager, could you please put in a good word for me? I'll give you one of these chips to help you. Choose a unique chip to take with you. During encounters, the effect of the chosen chip is always available. Just checked it. Modern one's different enough now. On hit, if you already have a score of at least 12, gain one advantage. Can only use once per round. Chip on your shoulder. Uh, interact, lose 10 chips and gain one advantage. M Bun was ready to report this game. There's the rep there's the report button uh, right here. I don't know what, what that is. Oh, okay, not a report button. Oh, it's a, it's a, hey, look over this. Advantage is gained from unique chips and is spent to play cards from hand or to exploit cards. And this shows your new card in the deck. Okay. okay. You already have a score of at least 12, gain one advantage. It can only be used once per round. Lose 10 chips, gain one advantage. Eh, hey, we'll do chip on the shoulder. Sure. Play blackjack against the bard, play blackjack against the drunk. We're gonna play against the drunk. They're more likely to... I'm, I'm betting the drunk hits on stupid things. Ooh, stands on 13. Okay. Okay, drunk stands on 13. So if you get just like a 15, you you win it. Well, not win it, win it, but I mean... You don't have to worry about hitting on 16. Oh, okay, stand. <laughs> there we go. He's already at 5 HP. Choose to set your opponent's bus limit to 20 or 22 for the rest of this encounter. Your or your opponent's. I mean, standing no matter what. Oh, he still beat me. Oh my god, that drunker. The drunken, the drunken feller. Oh, he, okay. Oh, he's standing though. No wait, it says he stands on 14 now. Wait, he upped his he upped his stands on. Maybe he's sobering up from that first hit I gave him. Ooh, get a jail free card. I can either get a 15. I can get a, there is a 1 in 5 chance I get the 21. <laughs> <laughs> there is a 1 in 5 chance I, I get it, but that's a uh, big of a hit right there. I can draw. Instant draw. But yeah. Oh, I don't have advantage. So how do I... Oh, fuck. Oh, on hit! Okay, you get an advantage from hitting after you already have 12. <laughs> M-Bun wants the 1 in 5 chance? Okay, M-Bun, this is for you. This is your 1 in 5 right here. <laughs> and we stand. By hitting, by hitting, we got the advantage. Which allowed us to use the get out of jail free card. <laughs> okay, okay. Get to four. Oh, 21. Hell yeah. Negative 17. Did I lose already? On first play, choose this card's value from 1 to 11. 10. Eh, maybe 11. 
I don't know. Negative three of hearts. Reduce the number of hearts on a winning... The on a winning blackjack effect of hearts cannot be reduced below zero. Wait, what the fuck? What the fuck? Reduce the number of hearts. I think it just means reduce your score. Blink is blink is all right. If you know, it's not all right if you like change it to if like on first play you give it like a value of five to get the twenty one. But if you need like a ten or eleven, if you need like the ten or eleven to get the twenty one. It wouldn't be too bad to have like a eleven in your deck. That way you can plop down an eleven and then plop down a. Plop down your next card. Okay, on winning blackjack, spades grant you a shield. Oh. Pay 21 chips. Nah, I'm good. Um, I think I'm gonna go with the negative. Yeah. Uh, let's see, Gambler or the Bard? We gotta go Bard. We're a, we're we're a Bard we're Bard supporters. This is a Bard supporting stream. It's unfortunate that the townsfolk call these gamblers degenerates when the truth is that they are the real victims. Also, chip to your dealer. Four, seven, seventeen. Ooh! Yeah, we hope they bust. Bust is a nice, easy. Shit. We have in here. We have three cards that can get us the win. But then one, two, three, four, five cards that can get us the loss. We're gonna stand. We're just gonna stand this. Wait, what? Oh, he hit! Oh, shit. What was that card? Oh, it just oh, burned itself. I can't even see what the card was. Okay, well, he got a three. <laughs> Aces are one or eleven. Oh, yeah, I guess I could have hit. <laughs> I guess I could have hit with the ace. Now... I have two out of two and four. There we go. That's a win. Will a hero prevail? One of hearts. <laughs> the tavern preys on the natural impulses of the gamblers, feeding their crippling addiction and converting it to profit. Counterfeiter or event? Have a drink. What do y'all want to do? Y'all want to go to the counterfeiter? Or do y'all want to have a drink? Both are events. Drink always. But we also have a give me some illegal shit. <laughs> we, have, we have a tie. How are we going to determine this tie? Do I have a coin to flip? Where's my where's my flippable coin? That's always wrong. Oh, there it is. There's my coin flip. I found it. Don't worry. Yeah. Absinthe. <laughs> that one's an illegal drink. Okay. Uh, heads will go. Uh, heads will drink. Uh, we just started digs. We, we just started. Heads will do drink, because we drink with our head. Like so. Tails will do counterfeiter. It is heads! We're gonna have a drink. Ooh, okay. Beer. It's on the house. Remove a card, take five damage. It's going 93 out of 100. <laughs> 
Uh, remove a card, take 5 damage. Pay 40 chips to remove a card. Add a loyalty card to your deck, take 10 damage. Beer and a shot. How special. Pay 65 chips to remove a card. Add a loyalty card with 3 stamps. I have no clue what that means. I'm gonna do it. Give me the house special, barkeep. Let's find- let's- Let's get a loyalty card with three stamps to my deck. Oh, that's what the- okay, the loyal- okay, that's what I meant. The- <laughs> The card we've already seen prior, but we already- we get three stamps immediately on top of it. So that's nice. Whereas the beer in the shot would have just got us a blank loyalty card. Got it, got it, got it, got it. So now our loyalty card is, uh, like, little, little, like, a third of the way there, basically. Choose a card to permanently remove from the deck. Probably one of, like, these mid-tier ones. Maybe, like, a six. It's getting at like a 16, maybe a 5, so maybe the, maybe you want the 7, but I mean a 7 can get you 18 and I think that can be fine to like win a hand or two, but like 16 or ace with the 6 is 17, so maybe the 5. Because then ace 5 is the 5th, or 16 and then... One of my 10 cards with the 5 is 15, and those are both kind of shit. I'm gonna go with 5. Because both the 16 and the 15 are kind of ass. 14, we can maybe work with something, you know? Uh, maybe not. I don't know, maybe the 4. I don't know. We'll do the... <laughs> Coin flip? <laughs> no, no, we'll, we'll do the 5. We'll do the 5. We'll do the 5. Get rid of it. Should have probably done the six. Who knows? Stay a night or gambler? What does that mean? What does stay a night mean? Oh, okay. You can heal. So you <laughs> you drink, lose some health, then you can stay in the fancy room to heal. Oh, the cheap room. Heal eight HP, but a random card is stolen from your deck. And then no sleep. Lose 5 HP. Well, that's stupid. We're gonna do the fancy room. Get our health back to full. Well, we can't shop. We only have 40 schmeckles. So let's let's go to the squire. Or I don't think 40 schmeckles will be enough to buy anything, so we'll go to the squire here. I can take you! What the fuck? Gain 2 on play, take 2 damage, gain 5 shield. Okay. Oh, that negative three of hearts is a bitch. Nice. Okay. That was worth it. Oh, he beat me. Okay. That's only one, though. One damage. No big deal. Oh, 16. That's what I'm talking about. Those 16s are brutal. We're gonna stand. Well, I mean, uh, we have three cards that can that can help us, but then one, two. Oh, well, there's a, four cards that can help us. Well, five, six here. Okay, so there's only like three. There's three cards that can hurt us, but there's a lot of cards that can not hurt us. Well, I mean, fuck it. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> Like, now that I look at my deck, there was only three cards that could hurt us there. We had a decent shot at it. Oh, fuck. Okay, well. Four cards that can help. Two cards that can royally fuck us. Because that's 20 damage right there. If we bust, that's 20 damage. Yeah, we're standing. That's all I say. We, there's no... If busting is bad in this game that's that's what i've <laughs> immediately immediately have found busting seems to be the worst thing you can possibly do Ooh, 
Loyalty card. Oh, pff, easy. Well, can't do the get out of jail free card. Okay, get out of jail free. <laughs> Let him have that. Nah, f the five under twenty-one. Not uh, not auto win in this game. I just I just did it. Didn't work. Ooh, baby! Oh, Andy busted you, silly squire! You silly squire! Fifty-fifty. One's a bust. Well, he stands on seventeen, so if he hits one of these, if he hits one of these, I can win. No, he didn't. He hit the eight. <laughs> That's fine. There we go. Have you seen my knight? Ooh. Queen of Music. X card you play this round becomes a Queen of Music for the rest of the encounter. What does that mean? Queen of Chess. Uh, move to opponent's side, then lock. At the start of next round, to unlock. Move to opponent's side, then lock. Oh, okay. I get it. If you hit the 10, it'll throw to... You can throw it to the other side. But you need the advantage. You need one of these little schmeckles, the orange schmeckles, to use it. Okay, interesting. That's a, that's a pretty interesting one there. Um, on play, choose one of your opponent's played cards to swap this card with. Ooh. Interesting. I don't know what it means by the Queen of Music. I mean, I guess this is just the Queen of Music. So the next card you play this round becomes a Queen of Music. So I guess you can just get a nice 20 banger. If you, like, you, if you play the Queen of Music... Then the next, you say hit, you're going to guarantee the Queen of Music, I guess? Is that what it means? Maybe? I don't know. I don't know. I think I'm going to rather go with Queen of Chess. I like chess. I dabble in chess every now and then. Let's just go to the counterfeiter. Why not modify a card? Choose a standard non-face card from your deck, permanently decrease its value by one. Choose a standard non-face card from your deck and permanently increase its value by one. Ooh. Ooh. Each increase or decrease costs 45 schmeckles, though. Do we want to save the schmeckles or counterfeit a card? I don't know. I don't know if this is, like, beneficial or not. Maybe decrease a crap card or increase a almost good card, like a, going from 9 to 10, you know? Or going from, you know, 4 to 3, 3 to 2. Don't know. I think I'm just going to leave. Or increase. We can increase the 9 to a 10. Fireworks. <laughs> we, we have fireworks, everyone. Okay. Um, we can increase this 9 to a 10. Increase the 8 to a 9. Nine 
and do a 10. The manager, ooh. Hello again. I hope everyone's looking after you tonight. Sure, I've got time for a game. The fuck? Dude, dude's just rocking. Just rocking ace up your sleeve. What the hell? Okay, we just need a. Oh, crap. Okay, we're just gonna take the hit on that one. Take it. Just take the hit. Just, just a fucking. Oh! Oh! Oh, it's a negative 11. Okay, okay. Goodness gracious, dude. Oh, come on! Okay, okay, stand, stand, stand. There we go. Oh, baby. Let's go. Who is in charge? I've never met them. I know they're on another floor. Here, you can borrow my elevator keycard. That was a pretty easy uh, boss right there. On play, choose another card. Right, you know, I, I assume it's the boss. On play, choose another card. Currently in play and double its value for the rest of this encounter. Double its value, ooh. That seems very, uh... Interesting. On play, gain 5 shield. If you have at least 11 shield, create Ace of Spades. Put it in your hand. If you have at least 21 shield, make it a foil. 13 of Spades. We'll do a report card. Tarot reading. Are you ready to have your fortune told? Ooh, one, two, or three. This one has the this bottom part chipped out. This one just has a little tiny chip at the top here. This one has a bigger chip, a little more leftish. Oh, y'all got fireworks as well. Dang, I was wondering if y'all could. Did y'all hear that? I don't know if y'all could hear that or not. Yeah, we're gonna go number one. Triumph, Vengeance, War. On play, lock. At the start of next round, unlock and burn this card and force the opponent to stand. What? What? Okay. Interesting. Empress. Okay, I think we just gotta click all of them. <laughs> On play, create, and then lock an ace of hearts. On discard, burn. Wheel of Fortune. On play, spin the Wheel of Fortune and receive a gift. I mean... You heard a little duke. The biggest lie in gaming. I think we gotta go with the biggest lie in gaming. It's clearly not the best of those three options. <laughs> Ooh, lounge or basement? Let's go to the lounge. Ooh, we're lounging. We're real loungy tonight. We're feeling super loungy. You arrive at an inviting lounge and brace yourself as you step in, clutching your hastily assembled blackjack deck. Luck pusher. I'll beat you without even looking. I don't, I don't need vision. I can just wear a blindfold. Choose to reveal one, two, or three random numbers from one to nine. At the total of the revealed numbers, the value gain that many chips. 
Stands on 18. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Let's go. You silly standing on 18. Brave card. I'll set value to random value from 6 to 10. Ooh. 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 I gained five chips. I gained five chips. <laughs> that was my fortune on this card. Come on now. I need one of these bad boys right there. One of these bad boys right there. Maybe even that queen of chess. Come on now. Well, I got one of those bad boys right there. I got one of those bad boys right there. <laughs> All right. On play, swap play, and discard piles with opponent. Oh shit! They got my they got my wheel of fortune. That was my wheel of fortune. Oh, I beat them with a twenty. Oh, they burned something. Oops. Deal and take two times more damage. Oh, Jesus. Sand. Once again, I pushed my luck too far. Can I have my cards back, please? Oh, a charred lizard! I don't care what the other cards are. We're going with the charred lizard. Choose to keep, <laughs> choose to keep in play or sell to opponent's discard pile for 10 chips. You can hit at the start of your turn. Create and play four clubs and I create seven, blah, blah, blah. Negative eight of hearts. Something crazy. Uh, we're gonna go with Charred Lizard, obviously. Clearly. That's our, that's our boy Charred Lizard. Going with the basketball teams from yesterday. The Boston Clover and the Los Angeles Legends. <laughs> I stole that art from... Yeah, they stole the Charred Lizard from Monopoly, too. Uh, blackjack against the teacher or the wizard? I mean, teacher looks hot as hell, dude. Maybe, maybe I have a chance. Maybe I can swoon the teacher with my charms. Oh no, she hates me. <laughs> uh, these are the last of my chips, so I'll use them to teach you the lesson at blackjack. Aw, I don't want to take the last of her chips. She's a broke teacher. Why am I taking the teacher's last chips? Oh, now I'm the bad guy. <laughs> they got the cue card. <laughs> and a hall pass. <laughs> this is cute. This is cute right there. Ooh, the one of hearts. <gasps> Go. <gasps> oh my. Keep or sell. I will keep. I only have two options, three options, four options, five. Uh, so, so I have fourteen. So one. Two, well, I do have my. Okay, I, I do have my get out of jail free card. Bye bye teacher. Well, that's all my chips gone. How will I tell my family how much debt I'm in? Oh, I'm sorry, Teach. Great, great. Now I'm now I'm the bad guy. I'm the bad guy. I'm the bad guy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, cardiovascular exercise. That, if anyone random is watching YouTube, is a callback. <laughs> Don't worry about it. <laughs>
I played a... I played a Pokemon ROM hack, where I was the bad guy. Um, cardiovascular exercise. On play, take two damage, gain five shield. No. I don't exercise. <laughs> it's been over two years yet. I mean, it's just right there. It's right there in the drawer. I just gotta open the drawer. It's, it's right there in the drawer. Alongside a... Uh... Alongside one of these bad boys. I still got it. It still works. That purple Game Boy Color still kicking, dude. Wish you still had mine, those things are gone. <laughs> Your pocket was worth the double death. <laughs> Whenever you play a card worth three or seven, deal three damage. Oh, you can just start doing damage by playing cards that deal three or seven. Uh, on a winning blackjack, clubs are added to the damage dealt. Oh. If you had a club deck, that'd be pretty cool. Uh, I do have a lot of chips. I can see what the random special card is. Choose a card from your draw pile, put it into your opponent's draw pile, then discard this card. Choose a card from your draw pile, put it into your opponent's draw pile, then discard this card. Oh. Interesting. No, I'm fine. You know what? I think I'm just gonna skip all of them. I don't want anything to happen. Sofa sleeper or wizard? I mean, I want to see what the events are, but we know what the wizard is. It's a wizard. Uh, grab a card. Take five damage if they wake up. Oh, so you're stealing from someone on a sofa. Someone is sleeping on a sofa and you think you can grab something out of their wallet without waking them. 10% chance to wake up. We are the bad guy. We're the bad <laughs> Wizard Tactical Breach Demo ruled? Nice, okay. I'm gonna have to watch that, VOD. Yeah, because I didn't I didn't get that one to uh to work on my end. Oh no, don't watch your VOD. Uh, take down 5 damage if they wake up, steal a random card, increase the chance to wake up by 5%. Give a card. Take 5 damage if they wake up, put a card from your deck into their wallet. Okay, so if you just want to get rid of one of your cards. So you're going to take their wallet, put one of your shit cards in his in, in their wallet. You can take 5 damage if they wake up, steal a handful of chips, you can take their money. Or let them sleep. Leave them alone. I'm the bad guy. <laughs> I got a two. 15% chance to wake up now. I'm the bad... <laughs> Maybe some chips? Because, like, the cards they might give be shit. Uh, we'll try another one. Ah, ooh. Okay, 20% chance to wake up. I think we're good. We're gonna let them sleep. We're gonna be real nice and let them sleep. On the other side of the lounge, you can see the bouncer standing in front of the exclusive VIP area. Ooh, coin flip. Three card Monty. Ooh, coin flip or three card Monty. Ooh. Let's do a coin flip and see which one it is. Okay. Heads, we're gonna coin flip. Tails, we're gonna three card Monty. Tails, we got tails. And it is a commemorative coin for a national park at the American Samoa. Just an upside down bat. I don't know. 
<laughs> Three card Monty. The dealer is smirking as they deal out three cards. Up for a game of three card Monty? Can only be played while exactly one above or below the burst limit. Ugh, that kind of shit. Dealer is smirking as they do not play 85 chips. It costs 85 chips to do three card Monty? Oh, but it cost me eight health to leave. Crazy, okay. We got chip, we got chips. Okay, I wonder if we have to like pay attention to the card we want. I don't want ace in the hole. It can only be played while exactly one above. No, it's added to your hand, okay. It's not a draw. It's added to your hand to be played later. So if you do happen to get a 20 or a 22, you can play it. But if you stand while the card is in your hand, that, yeah, you're gonna take that damage. You're gonna be taking that damage. Yeah, that's gonna be rough. Okay, we gotta we gotta avoid this one. We gotta avoid Ace in the hole. Okay, everyone, pay attention. I think he's gonna do shuffly sh shuffly's goodness. Okay, don't we don't want that one. I'm just gonna look for the one we don't want. I think we don't want that one. I think this one's the queen. At the very least, we don't want the middle. Yeah, I got it right! I was like, I think left is the queen, middle is the ace in the hole, which would have made the five the right side. Order of elimination. Uh, memory test. We Look at me, I did the three card Monty, I can memorize cards. Shit! Pick two cards. If they match, you keep a copy of that card. Attempts four. Oh, there, I, there's like a strategy to this type of shit when all the different types of games are, it's like, oh, the memory test shit. Okay. We're just gonna go transit card two. Transit card two. One. And the... This king. Oh, ho, ho. The king of space and time. I wonder what this is a nod for. Here we go. Hey, not bad. You know what? Could have been worse. <laughs> we got two cards out of four attempts. Not bad. You do one card to see what to pick and another card to get it. What is it a nod for? Uh, the, um, Katamari Damasi. Or Damasi. Kat Katamari. Let's go with Katamari. I don't know the pronunciation of Damasi. <laughs> I'm just gonna go with uh, Katamari. <laughs> but yeah, that's the king. You're you're the like the you're the little you're the little guy, and then the king's like, oh look at the fucking shit you did. Oh wow, good job there, little buddy. You need to make some planets for me or something like that. I never played a Katamari game, but I know the characters and the general premise. <laughs> the game definitely improved my deck. Did it improve yours? Report card. Yeah, I, I've I've seen I've seen someone like play. I've seen like a level, maybe like two levels. I don't even remember which of the Katamari games it was because they they've made. A few Katamari games. Uh, so what is this one? If you have at least 11 shield, create the Ace of Spades. Okay. Ooh, loyalty card! Okay, so I never read what this one was. Move all your other played cards to your opponent's side. Then stand. 
I recommend We Love Katamari if you want to get into. Recently remade re-released it. Well, maybe, uh... 15? Goes on sale pretty cheap. Okay, we're at 13. Can only be played if you have a jack in play. Because it's... <laughs> because because it, the king... It's, it's kind of funny. The king only, can only be played if you have a jack because the because the king and the sun, you know, you're, you're Katamari. You're the you're the little you're the jack of the world. <laughs> you're the jack to the king. Cute, very cute card right there. Which means we can't play it. Shit! I should not have hit. Should have just taken the. I should have just taken the damage. Now I'm gonna definitely take the damage. No valid target. Okay. Ugh. There's the jack. <laughs> and immediately using it because we busted. We hit until jack and then play. Yeah, I couldn't hit anymore after I busted. Once you busted, you can't hit anymore. I know, if I could cheese it. Oh, you know I would've. Um, put another Wheel of Fortune into your draw pile. Ooh, we got the East, okay. North is five chips, East is get another Wheel of Fortune. Fourteen. Sixteen. I think we just take the hit. Just take the hit. Ooh, West is deal five damage. Gimme West! Oh, hell yeah. Wow. Okay. <laughs> the Calamari game card. Ver what a nod. Another- they, they got some- they got some good nods here. So that's a good nod. Okay, um, so 3 and 4, 13, 20! I mean, I guess we can get the 20 if we get that 7. Oh, wait, actually, like, the only cards we can get- okay, wait, yeah, we're, we're good, we're good. Choose a card from your draw pile to put into your opponent's draw pile, then discard this card. Uh... Maybe we can put the six. I mean, he's gonna bust if I give him anything besides this three. But I don't want to give him my king because then I'll lower my score and I want to do massive damage. So I'm gonna probably... Oh, from the draw pile! From the draw pile! Okay. So yeah, we can give him the two. Then we'll have 16. Oh, wait, what? I guess I didn't understand this. Oh, to put it into your opponent's draw pile. Oh, okay. I didn't understand it. Okay. I did not read it correctly. I thought I was going to put it into his hand. Okay, so it just puts it into his draw pile. Gotcha. Uh, we can, we can keep. We'll keep the Charizard here, because we're going to play the Get Out of Jail free card. Okay. Yep, okay. Don't worry, I read. Reading reading is a thing that happens. Another one. 
Oh, east. Ow, ow. Oh, wait, he. Hey, never mind, we win. Curious if you bust on Charizard, then sell it, you no longer bust? Probably, yeah. But I don't want to sell Charizard. Or, Charred Lizard. I did not want to sell Charred Lizard. Then I wouldn't have Charred Lizard anymore. It is only 10 chips. Who needs 10 chips when you have Charred Lizard? It's my Jack in a box. Uh, close the box, setting the value to zero. If I already closed and opened the box, setting this card's value to 10 of a random suit. Oh, okay. Changes from 10 to zero. Pie of clubs. <laughs> <laughs> uh, on play set value to three on stand rounds up negative two and then just random what's well, a random special card yeah, you know do it choose one of the four unique cards to create then play choose one of the four unique cards to create and play. I don't even mean the unique cards. Choose one of the four unique cards. Oh no. Yeah, let's see. Seems interesting. Ooh, paparaza. Uh, keep. Oh, yeah. 21! Suck it, paparazza! 18, stand. Oh, suck it, paparazza! On play, heal both players 14 HP. I only did two damage to them, but I was all Hey, you know what? Paparazza? Thank you. I was I was feeling it from the previous fight. Thank you. I like that it's 14 by the way. Cute. It's a, it's worth 14 and then it heals you 14. Cute card. Uh move to opponent side then lock if you have the exploit. Oh, report card. Oh, piss. Oh. You swapped? What a loser you swapped. Oh, wow. Paparaza's a loser. I busted, and they're like, here, let's have you not bust. Ah, yeah. Stand. Oh, man, okay. Paparaza. Ooh, another one. We almost have that... We're two away. We're two away from automatic 21. They have my report card though. Give me that report card back. Oh, here we go. Okay, here's the tower. Choose another card currently in play and double its value for the rest of this encounter. So, so this one's break limits. This one is sweep the leg. On play, set opponent bus limit to 20 and your bus limit to 22 for the rest of this encounter. On play, deal 3 damage, increase damage of all your scratch cards by 2 this encounter. Deal and take 2 times more damage. We could do expulsion because they already busted. So we're gonna we're gonna win this round. So we can do two times damage. Should be 22. If we double the queen, it's 21. I think we just do the deal two times more damage. Well, shit, we can just hit. Okay, stand. But we gotta, we gotta stand here. Um, yeah, we gotta stand. We gotta stand. Ah, ah. Ah. 
Whoops, I didn't mean to stand him. Oh, goodness. Okay. Did not mean to stand there. That north. I've never seen a south. Ah. <laughs> Draw with the 21s. Easy. You can have the VIP pass. My shift is over anyway. Okay, that tower card? Pretty nice. Uh, on hit or exploit. Move to opponent's side. The jumping jack. Very versatile. On play, gain 25 chips. Oh, but it does cost you 25. It's tw So you would instantly bust unless you had some negative cards. Which is not good. You need to have like a negative deck going on to slap this bad boy into. Or we can pay 21 chips to see this card. Time to learn! Randomly select the number from 1 to 10. Change the value of this card to the selected number. Okay, I get it. So it's it's worth zero points. So you're not gonna bust or anything, but if it's a number you like, you can use your advantage schmeckles to make it into that number. Which is it's flexible. It's very it's a flexible card. And I like that. The flexible card there. Oh, bouncer. Huh, you got a VIP pass? Worthless. No one gets into the VIP area without beating me at blackjack. That is the rule. I doubled his 21 to make it a 42. <laughs> that is such a good card. This little terminate the tower, such a good card. Holy crap. Crazy good card. would be a lot of damage if we lost that oh it's a permanent 42 card oh my goodness he has a permanent 42 he has a permanent 42 in his deck oh my god dude's got a permanent 42 holy crap that was such a good play by ya boy permanent 42 Crazy. Oh, I didn't mean to hit. That was the riskiest hit of my life. Stand. Oh my god. I, I accidentally hit. Hit. Instant draw. Because we know his next turn, he's going to bust. Yeah, he just alters between uh, 21 and, well, 42. Oh, and then we just got the win with the Wheel of Fortune. Oh, buddy. Dude, okay. That's a GG easy. Holy crap.
I didn't know we only had three cards. Dude, doubling his 21 to a 42 ruined him. I would be furious if that happened to my deck. <laughs> That's the type of shit the bosses in Bellatro do to me. They're like, hmm, I see you're working on a flush deck. It'd be a shame if I disabled all of those cards that you're using for the flush deck. <laughs> like, no. Nah. On play, choose one of your opponent's played cards and burn it. And plus two value to this card. Ooh, okay. So it would go from 10 to 12, 12 to 14, 14 to 16. On winning club, uh, clubs are added to damage dealt. Ooh. Oh, ace in the hole. No, if you, this card is in your hand, take a damage. No, that's shit. Mm. We'll do the... I guess, the, we, I guess we could skip, but I'd rather grab one of these nice little foil cards. Choose one of your opponent's played cards and burn it. Sure. Maybe, maybe we can burn. <laughs> you don't like the queen. It is going to be a pretty shit card later on. If we can find a way to uh, delete it, then... Uh... Oh, we gotta complete the previous floors first. VIP. You take the bouncer's chips, and he lets you pass the velvet rope and into the VIP area. Thanks for playing the demo. You can wishlist the game now to be notified when the full game releases. In the meantime, why not play another round? That was fun. Uh, that was that was good. 